Hello guys, welcome back to S3D, and we're gonna talk about the uh, Robot Spirits uh, Gundam Aerial version anime. So this one is uh, scheduled to be released in November, uh, I guess the same time as the Easy 8. But uh, yeah, I think this one is a little bit uh, much more interesting than the Gunpla. Uh, obviously, I think at this point, you know, I think uh, most of us have figured out the Gunpla probably not gonna be very color accurate. Uh, due to the fact that, well, it's a model kit. Uh, well, the Robot Spirits figure, most likely gonna have, uh, you know, <laughs> most likely close to 100% color accuracy due to the fact that it's a figure. And uh, yeah, uh, I don't like the proportion on the Gunpla uh, because uh, I had kind of like an issue with the waist section. Uh, I can see it here from the... Uh, uh, the Robot Spirits figure, uh, the proportion here is actually better. Uh, the reason for the Gunpla not being, uh, you know, as streamlined as a uh, figure is because, uh, you know, the parts needs to be uh, assembled. Uh, when it comes to a model kit, sometimes they need to make certain parts bigger, you know, just so, you know, human beings can get a better grip on it. Also, uh, you know, the assembly process requires us to put, like, parts inside, you know, uh, certain body sections, uh, you know, for uh, uh, assembly purpose, right? Uh, when it comes to the figure, you know, the figures are designed specifically in a way, you know, uh, to be assembled in a factory setting. So, uh, factory workers... You know, so, you know, they have slightly more skill uh, toward these kind of assembly because, you know, they, they do like at least 30 to 40 figures a day and they do it like every day because it's their job. So, you know, uh, I think at certain points they just get very good at what they're doing uh, versus us, you know, uh, just building like one or two model kits every once in a while. So, uh I think that's the reason for the proportional issues when it comes to a certain aspects of the model kit versus the figure. And uh, I think the proportions on the uh, uh, the uh, Gundam Aerial here really, uh, you know, there, there's definitely a difference when looking at the uh, Gunpla versus the Robot Spirits figure. I think it's mostly in the waist section, you know, just a little waist section. Uh, this does definitely uh, give it more of a female look to the Gundam, uh, but I think that's what they're going for, right? The, the pilot is female, so her Gundam should look more feminine, sort of, or whatever. Uh, when it's in the vanilla pose, yeah, it still doesn't look really good. The, the hips looks like it's way too wide and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, just by looking at the waist section versus the uh, the gunpla, uh, it does look like you know there's like a more hourglass shape just by looking at this. With the gunpla, like the uh, whole uh, waist section just look like you know it looks like a, a rectangular shape uh, due to the fact that it is actually a a, a little bit larger. I don't think this have anything to do with like trick photography, you know, just by looking uh, through all the photos, it's very consistent that the uh, the waist section on this uh, uh, Gundam is a very, very streamlined, very uh, narrow. So, yeah, uh, other aspects of uh, this figure is uh, my, my only concern for the other aspect of this figure is mostly just the color accuracy. You know, uh, I, I want something that is just color accurate versus, uh, you know, something that we have to spend hours, uh, you know, masking and painting it in order to get it to the uh, right color accuracy. Although, you know, th th there's a significant price difference when it comes to the Gunpla versus the uh, figure. Uh, the figure is going to sit you back $75, so the Gunpla probably going to cost you uh, probably less than a third of that price point you know it's probably gonna be like 20 bucks so yeah you can you can go with either one you know if you're not into building uh model kits i definitely recommend checking out the figure uh if you're into building model kits then you know you can save yourself a lot of money uh the proportion you know is that that's basically just uh a personal preference 
situation. You know, some people are gonna like, you know what? It's a gunpla. It's cheaper. I don't really care. Uh, since it's gonna marry, I'm not even sure if I'm gonna like the show anyway. So, yeah. Again, it's all based on personal preference. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Some people really, really hate the design of the aerial. Uh, I, I think it's cool. I think it's something different. Uh, I'm all for it. Uh, but as you guys know, uh, there's a chance I'm not going to buy this thing because uh, it's not UC. You know, it's something, uh, I, you know, if you buy one, chances are you're going to have to buy the other ones, you know, just to, uh, uh, you know, have something in that genre. And uh, to me at this point, you know, I, unless somehow I really, really like the show or I somehow, you know, I like everything from this line in general and I have to... Uh, uh, change my mind about this. Uh, I I don't foresee myself uh, getting any of these figures, uh, you know, unless uh, my opinion about this whole uh, series change. Uh, we th th it hasn't even been released. It's scheduled to be released in October. I hope it's really good, but you know, <laughs> I have been disappointed many times in the past. So, yeah. Uh, anyway, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, guys.